We are so happy to come before you this Sabbath morning to worship you. We came for four things. To say thank you for your protection, for your love, and for everything you've done for us. We want to want, we also want to say thank, sorry for all the stupid things we have done against your will. We refuse to obey you, please forgive us. We came to say thank you with our funds, with our money, to praise you, thanking you for supplying all our needs according to your riches and glory. And finally, we came to listen to your words. Abraham, O Mahi, we did it. We be answering who did it on Mumpai. To Mr. Owen, I didn't even have a man who wished us. Bless the food that I'm going to give to your children. Let your children not hear my voice. Help me to articulate. Speak through me. Speak to me. Speak for me. And let your children hear your, your voice and your voice alone. Thank you for answered prayer. You must be able to be part of this whole program. Next week, in so, Metro Sarkasa, and make 144,000 who are some. Through a bush for no na na And I pay me a question, maybe, Sana. Question a Bible, Nankasa, Ibisa. It has taken me the whole week, God asking me to ask you this question. So it's not my message. I have no message. There's a message from God. Are you a saint? Are you sure? Or you are a traditional Christian? We are not so many. I would deem what a certain woman, but also the Bushan would deem Kaho. We have answered so many questions. Now, this is a very crucial one because these are the people who are going to have the wedding ceremony in heaven. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, the Bible says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. What is that faith of Jesus Christ? We know the commandments of God. It is the Ten Commandments plus the eleventh one. Love one another. Now say, I have want you for boys to turn war. When we did Uncle Pomeran Samso, no more cry, yes, a crystal, Gideonu. Now, yes, a crystal, Gideonu, any day. Hebrews chapter 5. And verse 8. Though he was, he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Jesus had a faith, and his faith was in total trust in his father. In one say. In Hebrews 10, 7. I came to do your will, O oh my God. A saint is somebody who belongs to the family of God, who has the faith of good God, the faith of Jesus Christ, totally dependent upon Jesus Christ. We know that Christ is coming again. We know that he is coming to rapture the saints, of God visibly both dead and alive. But the question I want to pose this morning is this. Who are those day saints? Will I be one of those saints? Will you be one of those saints? How can I be one? You are green fee at the so, not for how you soon quant year so. According to Revelation chapter 16, verse 6, many of the saints have been killed. Revelation 16, 6. Many of the saints have been killed. They have been slaughtered. 
verse 6. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. People have shed the blood of saints, martyrs. They're from martyrs. One more when Gideon to your kumo. And you know, I said, during the Dark Ages, over 50 million saints were slaughtered by Rome. So death is not a, a prerequisite for sainthood. No. It is rather your life before you die. Because the Bible tells me in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, Ubiar a person ye nyamusum nipano. Be ready for persecution. Satan will attack you and har harass you. So sainthood is not limited to dead people. Death is not a factor in determining the status. It is the teaching of the Antichrist. In the end of the year, you know. Yes, so you are a saint. What is a saint? What is a saint? Let me prove my point. In person, Yeshua said, you are mentioning Robert Yassi. Are you a saint? That is the question. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, Paul was writing to his church members. And what did he say? Paul, I, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. So to Paul, all the Christians of the early church were saints. And so we are nyame asa for ba nyame busu yenia me be kirem we are saints we are this year self for no and na ko we dey no heaven self for no no mo be nya bo trebra o ta kasie ne be ba they would depend totally on god they would have the faith of jesus christ ye nwane nwane nkoko abosu no so and so forth and this is the time christ is way one hwe ya e do ba ko be bia wonpe Church members of the early new church uh, the, were, were all called saints. It is the great difference in the character of a Christian over a worldly person that make this title appropriate. Saints are not canonized. They are born again by God by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the Ahwante Forno, and you want more, you will not be a bakansha and say, you are canonized or you are saint. No. Whilst you are alive, if you are a member of the family of God in heaven and on this earth, which I'm going to explain, you are a member. Revelation 12, 14, 12 says it. You are a saint. Now, I, I ask this question again. Are you a saint? Are you a member of the family of God? Kayo. Pastors cannot give birth to saints. The fact is, I mean, so for I mean, my, are you saints? No. According to the Bible in John 3, verses 3 to 5, you must be born again of water and of the Holy Spirit. A subo, a subo, and a kron kron subo are crucial before you become a saint. I hope you understand that already. And let me go to the next question. What did God intend the pastors of the early church to do for the saints in the body of Christ? Asafuono, early Christians, asafuono, leaders, you know, what was God expecting them to do for the saints? Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, verse 13, till we all come in the unity of faith, of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto a measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. In the we say, we will make the saints perfect. Saints are not people who have arrived. They are people who are growing. They are growing in Christ. Saints are not already perfected. They are being perfected. Let me give you an example. 
in First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter four, verses two and three. First Thessalonians chapter four, verses two and three. Yen can yen ti asembi a Paul kan oho ah e kan kuma e kan kuma ye. First Thessalonians chapter two, verses two and three. I'm rather reading from verse 4. Pardon me for that. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. It says, For you know what commandments we give you by the Lord Jesus Christ. You know. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. I want to tell you more about my I want to tell you more because I'm going to explain that to you. Saints are not people who have already arrived. No. In Galatians 4.19, Galatians, Paul again says in verse 19, My little children, of whom I travail in birth again unto Christ, be formed in you. Christ in you. Just say, only Paul can say, Master, I'm a tea, yam and I'm a tea, and a crystal in a timmy moon. A saint is somebody who has Christ in him. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. Philippians 4, Philippians 4, verses 3 to 4. I entreat thee also, through your fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel with Clement also, and with the other fellow liberals, whose names are in the book of life. Have those people. Verse 2, no, or say, I beseech Yodas, and I beseech Syntyche, that they all may be of the same mind in the Lord. Remember, you know, no more Akazakasa. Saints can have Akazakasa. I want to for it, me, Akazakasa, but and to us, a short-lived, we be from water. So saints are searching, they are studying, they are learning, they are obeying, and they are practicing the truth. They are doing the will of God, just as Jesus did. I want to for we are very special people. Paul was writing to the Corinthians again. And listen to what he said in First Corinthians. Chapter uh, 14, verse 33. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. I like this. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. The church of God. The members of the Church of God are called the saints. It is a universal church. It is the family of God on earth. We have dealt with that already. Anyway, I'm your bush and was as here so. And no see a true dean into a bush, you know. And it is happening to many of us, especially accounts. It is happening to many of us. We are Christians, but we are being paganized. Our practices are paganized. We associate with pagan traditions. Listen, Satan has a church too, and everything goes for them. Why won't you be here to me? You see, why won't you be to me? See, almost who are saints? Now, I'm wondering everything goes, but in God's church, the church encourages the saints to live the godly life. It provides the setting in which saints can support and encourage others to live the godly life. And that is why Paul wrote in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, 
to 25. Let, let hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Ebrimu, don't waver. Mama, you didn't hear him. For he is faithful, that promise. Yami Osho Bose, I am with you always till the end of time. Why are you afraid? Yami Osho Bose, man, is saying, Sinini. But Nafutunye. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Yen she a hun kron kron. She she a hun kron kron. This is the time I saw for phone. Now phone you now we she we she nun kron. Yen sabre ni di in sekuro. Yen sabre ni kwandemi ubi. This is not the time. A saint doesn't do that. A saint doesn't gossip against another saint. No. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the mother of sermons, but exhorting one another, and so much no more, the more, as you see the day approaching. At the Bonnery Bow, in Tipoxi, Munkoswara and Shemhum Hunkrai, no Munshia, Kwasari, Munkoswari, the saints of God, the family of God on earth, do provide the church needed funds to coordinate the sharing of the gospel with the world. Abusia was as his son, Yesika, and as son of Boabua Noa, and you two are so for car, no money can you answer me. A Bian Hope Channel, you know how much money is being spent here? Thousands of cities. One minute, you are a Yami Asafoma, the saints of God. My concern is, are you a saint? If we withdraw ourselves from the group of unbelievers, I mean believers, we are more vulnerable to the group of unbelievers. So, Bilibinti, what's the word? Jaya, sorry, adie, adie, adie. If it's a word called tradition, mo, tradition, no so ayabo some some, and no so ayabusiya, ayabusiya no ebeni ananabusiya, ansanabusiya. But so be ye sainta, so ayabusiya no one can hold him. You don't do what they do. You don't practice what they practice. No. We are strong. We are strong. If you say last week, I said, 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 What did Paul say would build up and sanctify a saint? A dear neighbor, I said, 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 Acts 20, verse 32. The Bible says, And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. And then I tell you, and then I'm out with your crown, and then I'm out with this year. As ye knew in the Bible, O bag ni a kitu ebi into a Bible, Bibiankum, and the phone, phone no pornography was no, and then I would require sorry. Are you sure you are a saint? I'm afraid not. Be very careful. It is the word of God that makes you a saint. Listen to Peter. Peter gives a counsel, a counsel that I personally take it very seriously. First Peter chapter one, verse twenty two. And uh, 23, it says, Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. I want to for what you knew with the Ayanyamia some. And the power can Bible. The whole world in can Bible. Some school court a little one be. But you call yourself a saint and a member of the family of God. No, you are not. Are you sure you are a saint? Saints are not only hearers of the word, but they are doers of the word. Let me use some Greek words. Hagios means a saint. Hagiazo means to sanctify, to make you holy. Saints are undergoing sanctification. Their actions and tastes and lifestyles are being changed. It is a process of growth and not instantaneously, but it's a lifetime process. Yes, my warning be a fat a busia, a tossing me and sat a binian and a busia, 
and son of Busia. I'm not condemning your family. No. I'm only asking, say, if you are a saint, are you standing out? Well, Busia, for no to me, who say, Papa, we did it. And some way, Mom found one name. A bissan, a yakorno. Mom found one name. A dear, Pasia, you were ye nassano. Mom found one name, no untie. Because he's a saint. He stands out. What did Jesus say? Mark chapter 7, verses 6 to 9. He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you, hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And yes, I'm a true you so. You're a good dog, be a queer, who may happy Sabbath, happy day. You know, you just so, what do I know? What do I mean? But you are not a saint. Why? How be it in vain do they worship me? Why? Because they are practicing the doctrines of men, the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other things like that. Well done for rejecting the word of God that you may keep your own tradition. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Why are they passing away? 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 Why are they passing the Seventh day Adventist Church is my family. And my name is in the book of heaven. I believe it. Not by any good thing I'm doing, but because Jesus is there for me. A dear Ben Abama Shedding. A dear Ben Abama Shedding say, John 17 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Nyamia semno ena ye no kware. Enu na te wo hon. Enu si na wini bi. Enu na na pe wan kain bi. De biya ra wan kain. De biya wu ye late. De biya wu ye late. If so open temako. E juma. Open temako juwa so. Nyamia semno ye. It's none of your business. You remember what David said in Psalm 119 verse 11? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. May the one some next year me come on, na maya boni and tiyo. Falsehood, error, and lies, pagan traditions cannot sanctify you. Only the truth can do that. Saints are careful of human traditions. And what you need, you are very careful what says from Abusia some. Are you a saint? Are you one of those Jesus will come and meet alive? Next week, make a want some. Have you ever wondered why Satan puts forth so much effort to deceive people by tradition, causing them to believe lies? Unim saintie. Ah, as if we be brave. Abusi asam, abusi asam, abusi asam, and then they hear wrong. You know why? You know why Satan is doing that? Let me read that to you. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2. Verses 9 to 12. Even him, Satan, whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteous in them that perish. In them that perish. Did you hear that? In them that perish. Why? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They believe in traditions more than the word of God. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. We ask the enemy into tradition be a crow, a crow. Why your woman will see a penny a year be a kobi, a year be a kobi. I will see a penny a one. We are yammy bussy and knee. And now, Sassu Bussiani. Oh, my young Yammy Bussiani, now you are not any. Oh, my young Yammy Bussiani, you are no more. They had to know, so you stand out, you are a saint. 
We are this year. Oh, I am your We are busier in the Seventh Day Adventist Church. He will do. Satan will do whatever he can to keep us from hearing or understanding or accepting the truth. In order for the truth to, to purify me, what must I do? So, by ya, yamia seven about two me hona di na esa miye. First Peter chapter one. First Peter chapter one, verses. 22 and 23. First Peter 1, 22 and 23. I have to obey. I have to obey the word of God. If the devil cannot prevent me from discovering the truth about the Sabbath, about the sanctuary, about all the doctrine, 28 fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, he has only one recourse of left to convince me that as a seventh day Adventist, it is not necessary to obey all. Nyani yinan nasa o diya juma. Eh. Nyani yinan nasa o diya juma. Eh. No wabusi yana eh. No wabusi yana fuwa no eh. Many will be lost who knew the truth. Man fezi yin katewe ni mo. A de show fuwa no. A hon teo fuwa no. Wamu de mu fuya. They are different. They stand out. Nabusia Anana, Anna Nabusia Mupono, one more respect tenno, say he stands out. Be be a fabulous seven on Fanon Jim. A knowledge of the truth will actually condemn us in the judgment. A dear Bayer Yapan say, Wunim no Kurana one year, ni a me a big wow for. Because the Bible says in James four seventeen, He that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to, to him it is sin. Hebrews 9.27 It is appointed unto men one to die. You will die once. But after that judgment. Into uwa etu nchayo. Sawinya huti unia. And in the years to come. Revelation 22 verse 11. Oyo kron oyo kron. Dia nuhon tono. Nuhon tiara. Dio ye fin o ye fin. Are you a saint? Are you sure you are a saint? What does the white linen represent? There's going to be a wedding in heaven. And John wrote about it. You remember the story of the ten virgins? There's going to be a wedding in heaven. Now, one of the questions is wedding. Your friend wants saints. Ibn Mawu, Ibn Mushetiase. Gundi wanyame abusi ya umanumu wa sasi so they are members of the true church of God and many other Christians ebi wa Presby ebi wa Anglican wamu donyame ebi ya onhume dana na onti ase we have two churches the visible church that's the Seventh Day Adventist Church and the universal invisible church. All the Christians together, nyame ma wom obeyi yi won makon makon. Na si ye kwa wedding wo sure ho no atare be na ye be she. Atare be na ye be she. Bibia won address code, a year won address code, wedding e won address code. Atare be na ye be she. Revelation chapter 19 verses 7 and 8. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come. And his wife, that is his church on earth, has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Did you hear that? I want to for a tad, you know, a It is a character. It is a Christ-like character. That is a dress code if you want to go to heaven. As I say, Usuban say Yesu. Today's Christianity has almost ignored the practical instructions of God's word. That should guide Christians who want to know what is involved with a sanctified life. And the Amazon for Yankan Bible. The Ananum, a Yanana, ye be. Saints have a new life. Saints have a new family. They are born again by God. Are you? There is a very noticeable difference between the lifestyle of the follower of Christ and the follower of the world. In order to protect his spiritual connection with Christ, the believer will avoid living habits 
amusements, and entertainments which will corrupt or degrade the thoughts and emotions. Let me ask a question. Cinema na ocho wo fi ho no, e saint. Cinema mo wo be na ocho no, e jum be na wo to no. E jum be na wo chi wo fi ho no. And you call yourself a saint? No, no. Can Jesus listen to that song? Can he sit down and watch that movie with you? Saints are outstanding. Wam ho dan so. Christ is in their home. Christ is in their home. Examine your early clams clan style. Wabusian forno, show won subain. Show won subain, na fatu babo hon se and no kwa na. Bi bi abusian sam, abusian sam, wabusian sun is seven the avani church. And only yam ya busian was I say so. Na one me woman no near fro and say saints. Second Corinthians chapter six. Verse 16 to 17. What agreement has the temple of God with idols? Ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell with them and walk in them and will be their God that they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not your unclean thing, and I will receive you. And so, dear, you think, come out. You are a sanctuary. You are my temple. What did Exodus 25 verse 8 say? Build me a sanctuary that I might dwell with my people. Into we are sanctuary. We are nyamia sorry dying. We are nyamia sorry dying. We are ordinary people, a uh, person. Come out. Come out of traditions and be you separate. Stand out. Let me ask you a question. Is Christ in your home? Yes, or will fear. So, will be real fear. Or think, can't say yes, will fear her. A saint, I don't know what you A saint, I will fear your gossip medium. I want you to be concerned. Listen to what John said. In 1 John chapter 2. No me mean Sabia we ya a say o cra best say o cra a best say when yamasum in ye love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, and the loss of the flesh, and the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And this world is passing away. And the Lord thereof, but he that doeth the will of God will abide forever. Who do the will of God? The saints. They do the will of God. They have the faith of Jesus Christ. One more yes, did you be? Worldliness is enmity with God. Did you know that? James chapter 4, verse 4. James 4 4. Ye adoratress and adoratresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Did you hear that? So do you hear that? We are the enemy of God. Because we are the enemy of God. We are the enemy of God. We are the enemy of God. You know what I'm saying. I can't for. What did you say? We are the enemy of God. We are the enemy of God. And some bro forma, two two forma sabe sabe with all respect. You ensure ya me, one so so abusi ya no no. Ina wa ya ezi ya sorry no. Ina watu chuna se. Wanya huwa na ukobi. Udi ezi ya kato wa name. You are wasting your time. Are you a saint? Are you a saint? Satan will find one avenue to get into you, either by sound. By what you watch, by scent, by taste, and by touch. Examine your clan. What's that? This was your new year. What relationship do Christians have with the world? What relationship do saints have with the world? With the New be on a troy, yes, no one can say, and no more. John 17 
14 to 16. Yente ya no sumo asi yo. Inti ya diya huwa fra fra. Asaru kwa nyinko. You must be sure sa wea hote uni. You can go to church and be lost. And that is where we have sealing time. God is sealing his children. And he will throw out all those hypocrites who are following human traditions. John 17, 14 to 16. I have given them thy word. And the word had hated me. Because they are not of the word. Even as I am not of the world. I pray not that you should take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from, from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Did you hear that? Saints are not part of pagan traditions. They are not of the world. That is, you are in the world, but you do not do the things people of the world do. Christ can get you out of the world. But getting us out of the world will not get the world out of us. It depends upon us. Do you still have tradition in you? Let it go now. We would be most miserable in heaven if we are not born again. So you won't be there at all. Let me ask a question. We are sure so we never call heaven. We are sure so our money in never call heaven. We are sure so be a woe fit for mono or call heaven. Are you sure? Are you a saint? And now don't want to go to the Saints have a new life. There is a noticeable difference in taste, in the taste or diet of the believer. He chooses his food and drink with Bible admonitions in mind, avoiding those items strictly forbidden by God in his word such as uncertain, unwholesome meats and alcoholic drinks. I mean, can text we intro? Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, a popular SDA church, a doctrine, a belief in back on 22 to 23, saints will see many. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, Temperance against such there is no law. Temperance means what? A moderate use of good things, but total abstinence from bad things. Wa wa busia, ano na busia, ano na busia no. Wa, what did you say? Are they temperate? Do they have the spirit of God in them? Yami hum hum eti wo mu. Ana verse nineteen of the same chapter. Galatians 5, 19, 19 to 21. The works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, some, some witchcraft, abusive, hatred, interquapé, variance, mansuetry, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, envying, heresies, murder, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, that I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, no more shiny. No more what's the who will be there. We are saying to you. We are saying to you, this is the time to confess and repent. Change your mind and be a saint. Change your mind and be a member of the family of God. Change your mind. Tomorrow might be too late. Change your mind. Sanctification extends its influence over three elements of man. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Your spirit, your soul, and your body. Your spirit, your soul, that is your mind. Let this mind be in you. A saint, or Junase Yesu, or Kasase Yesu. Nisuban say Yesu, he has the mind of Christ. And his body is the residence of God. We are what we eat. The Bible is my manual. Be like Christ. Saints are like Christ in character. I am important to God. 
First Corinthians chapter six. First Corinthians chapter six. Verses nine to eleven. First Corinthians six, nine to eleven. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed. Did you hear that? Abusia na muwe wuno no yu ya si abusia na muye sano mani inara and sano ene manso chwe ene ni bre ene pobo asaso manso e day hon manso sano na mote and such were some of you but you are washed you have been sanctified and you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our Lord listen to verse eighteen. Flee fornication. Everything that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sins against his own body. What? Don't you know that, that the body, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? One no one. One no one. I can say, me ame de me hosina me bo ma jo ma ya. Me ame de me hosina me no me sa. Abu siya wo yasina wo mo ne kasa sa. A saint can never say that. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Glorify Your body is the residence of God. Let me say a question me. Imagine you had a visitor tomorrow who came from wherever and then he started spitting spitting around in your living room and then making your upholstery dirty, scattering the furniture and dirtying everything around. What will be your reaction? I'm asking you, what will be your reaction? What will be Abba? Or Baufiwa or to think to see you, you know, you know, no pin we no pin we no tit we so what will be your reaction? Sign a year seven and forty. They don't care about anything. They drink, they smoke, drugs, womanize, menonize. The body of a believer is God's residence. No unbeliever should touch it. Young woman, so pastor ya odisha. Mama mama so 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 umu emiemiao. Now see, I feel good. You are not a saint. Your body is the residence of God. You know what I'm talking about. Are you in tradition? Then you have a third family. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking You know what I'm Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. Share no one no one, sir. And some bro. See, a year, year, dear no one. Apatishi. Asa. Besini evi. Anna say. She sing a mere friend, Mr. Minkwada. No quiet for a church here. Near to her lulia chorus. Near turn to no ready. Will make ye say. Which of the two do you like? Which of the two do you like? Saints have new lifestyle. There is also a noticeable difference in the clothing worn by the believer. He is careful to follow the implicit principles of dress God has presence in his word. Choosing clothing that is simple and modest. He is content to put aside the ornaments of jewelry as God has directed in Genesis chapter 35. Verses one to four. Brother Jacob, and then the year and um, it be do better. No, you can't just say. Shall one fat and some car and in capo and the bangles and ura sa asasia ura me. 
When Israel was returning from Egypt, God gave the same warning in Exodus chapter 33, verses 1 to 7. Isaiah chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. Or she say, we are seeing the we are, and man by a jewelry. And now she, look at how people dress. First Peter chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. Peter says you can't dress like that. Even Paul in First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9 said, Woman, you can't put on ornaments. There are two women in Revelation. Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 17. Which of them is your mother? Revelation chapter 12. Oh yeah, I'm tell for the mommy, the true church of God. Revelation chapter 17. I am sorry. Everything goes. Now, no, no, we're painting the baby. Show more you, Maura. Show more you. You call yourself a saint? She went in town. She knew your home. Look at yourself. Look at your additional news. God is not wise. Look at your dressing. Are you a saint? Are you a saint? Can you imagine the choir leading your casket to your graveyard? Or can you imagine Ketikre and Adwa dancing and guns shooting and screaming behind you? Which one do you like? Abusia Diahina Odom. And then me person me say what you need. Now what you who feel you are so completely. Now what dance so? Come out of them. The Bible warns. In Revelation chapter seventeen verse four. There's another woman. She's called a harlot, a prostitute, arrayed in purple and scarlet colored, decked with gold, precious stones and pearls. Remember, Christ himself made up these re revelation symbols. Are you different, lady? Mauda, are you different? Show more. Me cut me no can say ya. Show one no. Show a near chi. Say no qua sorry. And can dress in be a wodeco. Show more. Show who be. Are you a saint? Are you sure? Are you sure your name is written in the book of life? And then you are so for no yeni be. They are unsure for and enough for any one of my kind of and I won't sue you be. I'm afraid you will never be in the kingdom of where they know could be. Where they know what could be cry. Paul says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, you must dress modestly. To the unbelievers, everything goes. And that is presumptuous in us with the infant. Now we need additional more you and the same fan. Na me nimu su dia me yen se ya se na em fan. Na se me yen mi ti se ya se we dia em fan se we dia eh style. We dia se eh ya se se ya ni abue. Ya nya tete kwa fo. Sa. Ma men kan kiro. Psalm 1 Psalm 19. Listen to David. Psalm 19 verses 13 to 14. Psalm 19 verses 13 to 14. Listen to David's counsel. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let me read from verse 12. Who can understand his errors? Do you know? You don't know. Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. What is that great transgression? The great transgression is the un unpardonable sin. When God will delete your name from the book of life. See a kind of that in Revelation 35. Is that what you want? A rather man pardon me. A rather man paro. God is commanding his people. Stay out. Dress. Dress like a saint. Let me ask you a question. Say, there will be war. And we will be seeing a phone. 
and he didn't to my decorative you are decorative in a golden rings and so for the chain and he has on car is that what you want is that what you want in your casket no who said that out the year day you think it doesn't matter it matters i'm going to explain to you why it matters if i home a man why you are revelation 12 revelation 17 no we would hear him and i was saying no we would hear him and i was mommy are you a saint saints have new lifestyle there is a noticeable difference between the believers handling of money and that of the unbeliever the person being sanctified in regards god as a rightful owner of all that he owns so he's a steward therefore the believer consciously follows god's command to return tithes and offering to him for the support and the growth of his church activities on earth nyame so ba ye saint o se o sika ina ya media e me na me de ma o ye steward I do for 52 years now. I'm speaking from experience. I have a lot of people who are tired. I have a lot of Maybe you're one of them. I'm not judging you. I'm only telling you the truth. What do you do with your money? Let me ask you a question. You have a lot of people who are tired. You call yourself a saint. Now, see, can we know what he and throw and throw report how to come out boss and a young throw be be a way and a young throw was so young. I mean, was any no, you are not. You are not bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. One wanted to so do do in Amra. The mission I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Do you return your tithes? Or do you send it to your family members? Abusia sambiara usika wom. See a dequa bisa, see a dequa den, see a don't know, sir. And then the Ufi say, and foul home, a foul home, a foul home, because she can't have the coin and your dear, a young Yamisica. Do you return your tithes? Saints are faithful to God. While we are not saved by works, what does Jesus create in our lives? Ephesians chapter 2. Nyemi nyuma na ba jemi. Na mwam si yesu jemi ya. Na mwam bi ede di ewa me brem. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. For by grace are you saved through faith. Not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Yesu did not demand me. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, ye, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Saint Tilly, I'm free, I'm free, you are saying, I'm a son, I'm a yard, I'm a money, I'm a mean two or four, I'm a mean two or four. Bo, a bush, you are four, no, you are a man, no, me, you are a man. Now, what do you want to do? First Peter chapter 1, verses 14 to 16. Be holy, because your heavenly Father is holy. Your crown. I do what I do. Not because I want to be saved. I do what I do because of who is in me. Your team is in me. I'm going to be in me. I'm going to be in me. And here, no, here's come up wow. No more men come home. Men come with super no home. Men come with near no home. Second Corinthians 3 18. As you read more about the Bible and you think about Jesus, you become changed into the same image of Christ. You become a new person. Second Corinthians 5 17. If any man be in Christ, He's a new creature. Galatians 6 15. And far when you put a war, so you confirm poor, or the humble Yeshua, you become a saint, a new creature. Christ has called us for three things justification, sanctification, and glorification. Mean two for 
na mu obi obi tumi ndi abu obu suafo na obi hu ni yesu no fa boa na sika wode ma won no omodo tototo nsa eye ye mo yure ye ye hu se wiase ni ye de ko abisa ne de stop it stop it have them accept christ or the bible says separate yourself from them revelation 18:4 come out of them through omo free na mo o last week in can say me na mo anti ma say ye ma me chire mo ntem me no ka say say ye me nim akunafo onum aziefo a won kunu num awu agya won na mane a won mo fam ko ho mu abusiafo attacking them man so twin let me ask you a question what is the man no won mo ni papa are you responsible for them to god my family is my wife and my children won mo na mebu wo ho akonta akire urade nya wo fa ase no me nka se man hwe won hwe won bo won no mo hu na urade na nya won mo na befo wo je pade e dan na wo de ma no no wo so blocks wa no aduane ama wo pay wa si wo draw so pay think think a christian think are you for god or for tradition or a mania say a mania say I mean, Mr. Question, where do I can? Can I not know Busiani? Barry and Sonia and Sonia Abusiani. So, you are not Busiani, no, you are. And Sonia Busian, who waited me before I could see you. No. Why? This is the reason. Jude, chapter 1. Verses 9 to 11. When Moses died, Satan came for the body of Moses. Why? I didn't tell Moses. Moses, a prophet. Ah, wow. Now, one samba say, Ni ni pedi ano oyemedia. He shouldn't go to heaven. Oya odia. The body on a dead body. Oba kaso uwa and wow. No, it is not true. Uwa uwi. Uwa wow. Yeah, it's true. But ni ni pedi ano oyemedia. God had to wrestle with Satan to redeem the body of, of Moses. But did he hear me? So I was trying to focus here. What did you say? Me can't say I wasn't paid. And I just what did you say? I was saying oh, what did you say? I did go. What did you say? Be careful. At your baptism, you had a new name in the book of life. And God added you to the family book on earth. That is the church. And that is why we pay welfare in the earth year church. Who are asserting a seal. They are not here. They call shroud and a casket. They are here. No, no. A shroud and a casket. That's all you need. And you know what they do? We see a busy and four. See, I don't know what you do you belong to another earthly family? Do you pay money for funerals and consultations? Do you belong to the family of God? Help them if you can, but let them know your stand. You are a member of God's family on earth, and they have to bury you. The saint of God are members of the church of God, and they have to bury you. They have to bury you. Let me ask you a question. A few minutes to finish. Who buried Abraham? His sons. Who buried Jacob and Joseph? The Israelis. Who buried John the Baptist? Let me ask you. Who buried Jesus Christ? Who buried him? John chapter 19 verse 31. Take your time and read it. The Jews wanted him to be buried in mass grave or to be left in the open for vultures to eat his body. With the violence, with criminals in violence and disgrace. But God sent Joseph of Arimathea, a saint, to give him a befitting burial. 
Yame na shishe ye. Jiu fwone diye, anka Yesu is cursed. Anka mpete yunye na nam, ana mass grave. Mami kao, ase miye mini. Mi yasafo, mi kansafo asem. Osafo bi no uye. Osafo no take a stand. Onye sofo papa, oye ziye ni sofo. But one take a stand. Nabushi anfo ba pama ne yere, ene ne ma yina fi di fiye. Ni fiya, onye ne yere ne mersi. Ne ma ameni jaya asare. Onye ne ma ni yina la. Till now, they are all gone. Is that what you want, a saint? Is that what you want? Uwechi. Is that what you want? Christian even now called New York. So Kuyina Wajwe. Christian went to a barber in New York to have a cut. Then there was a conversation. And the barber was an atheist. So he asked the Christian, why do you worship God? There is no God. If there was God, why is there chaos? in New York, drugs and uh, armed robbery and all kinds of things. The Christian didn't talk. We knew you know tea and fifteen dollars or China we to a tea car no sort of coy. Or koya no sign that you buy. I see, my friend, there is no Baba in New York. I said, what is that nonsense you're talking about? Baba be in New York. Say Baba be in New York. Brana Bahe. Papa be your test trees, you know. Now, what you know, fool, are you fee? Unyare Rada. I didn't know unity. No, I said, Papa, ever buy me shop. If you will come to my shop, I will give him a clean cut. And the Christian said, Yes. If the prostitutes and the drug addicts, if they will come to Jesus Christ and be baptized, God will touch them. And they will be different people. I'm asking you to surrender your life to be touched by God. Thank you, Mr. Wan. And can my friends, you so far be, and ne see a more so. So pass and pass a more so. All you need is about five people. You can come also. Now, but can you move to your home? Time is running out. Are you a saint? We are Mutuni. The answer is yours. I'm a no mom pie. Yes, If you love me, keep my commandments. A jatun four, my come on some navy. I somehow the mamma, my country, oh, ma. Yan yan hotel four. Yan two, we are honey and yet a soul. Near yet in Yamepe to do the will of God. So we can be saved into the kingdom. We want to be at the wedding ceremony in heaven. Forgive us where we have offended you. And help us at this time, in this crisis, to be sure that we are being sealed. This is a sealing time. Be a saint and see you in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.